Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we'll be seeing how to check whether a number is positive, negative, or zero by both pseudocode, basically algorithm, and flowchart. So let's get started. The first basic criteria to check if a number is positive, negative, or zero is what? Like we have a number line in max, right? This is positive side and this is negative side. So basically this is the concept. If this is if the number we take if it is n, if it is greater than zero, then it is positive. If the number is less than zero, then it is negative. And if number is equal to zero, then it is zero. Right? This is it. So let's start with the algorithm. Step one is start. input the number n so input n third step now we start with the cases okay first case i'm taking it as positive so if it's a decision making n is greater than zero okay then print positive now this I can actually write it like one after the other in next step. It would just simply expand expand the case like the step numbers. That is it. Okay. If we want the fourth step, can be written as print positive. Okay, let's write it like that. Okay, so fourth step is print positive. Fifth step is elif. Now until now we saw the case else right if this isn't the case now that is a case but here we have three cases so the second case or whatever it is if it is in the last case then we write it as elif okay so elif n less than zero six step print negative okay seven step else okay now here we can put else. Um, my bad. Here it shouldn't be elif. It should be else if. Elif we use it in programming language. Okay. For now it's actually else if. But then in programming language they cannot interpret this. And therefore we write it as elif in python. Okay. So in algorithm we write it as else if. Cool. Okay. So this step is else. Okay, now here we don't have to write anything because else, right? If this is in the case, then it has to be this case. Naturally, right? So we don't have to write that. Print. Zero. And that is it, right? Last step nine is stop. Now here, after each this cases, we don't have to run all this code. If we get the answer correct here, it's in the third step, then we can go directly to the step nine. So go to step, uh, sorry, not here, because we'll have to print the fourth step as well. So go to step nine. Here also go to step nine. So this was an algorithm for checking if it is positive, negative, or zero. Now let's try doing the flowchart of the same thing. If you can try the algorithm properly, then flowchart isn't a trouble. Okay. The first step is start. Okay. Next step is inputting n. Uh, the symbols and other things I've already discussed in my main lecture, which I'll put in the description box. So please do check that out if you don't know about the symbols, because the symbols are the main things. Rest is just an algorithm which we're writing it in a flowchart, right? Okay. The next step is a decision, which is if n greater than zero. Okay. So the first decision is this. If 
n greater than 0. If it is in yes, then print positive. If it is a no, then go to the next decision box. If, uh, sorry, it's else if. Else if n less than zero. If it is yes, print negative. And if it is a no, go to the next step. Okay, which is what? Else print zero. So the next step is printing zero if this is in the case. Okay, now the last step is what? To stop the statement. So we'll have to connect also this, right? We have already told here if this is the case then go to step 9 so we'll have to connect these things okay we like we can connect this also there you go okay this is a flowchart for this question hopefully hopefully you guys like the video if you did please do subscribe to my channel hit the like button and i will be doing further questions as well I've already completed a question to check if a person is eligible to vote or not. If you didn't see that video, please check that out. Thank you.